definitely recommend one source of knowledge. Um, and if it costs, I would also recommend to pay for it as well. Yeah. And that's some YouTuber called Mr. CV. This is your boy, Mr. CV. He's back. I'm back with another one again. This time, I've got something very special for you. I've got someone that's actually a head teacher in the school. How many young people do you know that are actually head teachers in schools? I don't know many. And I'm sure you don't know many. Yeah, I met this person while doing my teacher training. And from the first day I met this guy, it was as if it was all at first sight. This is something that you can strive and get to. And if you can get to it, I'm sure you can. Before you talk about his head teaching journey, or head teaching CV, as I like to call it, we need to get to know him a bit. So tell us what you do, who you are, and so that everyone else can know about it as well. Mm. So I get asked the question a lot about what I do, and my answer is always whatever it takes. And that's my motto um, in life, I do whatever it takes to get to where I want to be. I'm a director of two businesses. I'm a head teacher, as, as you already know, of a supplementary school, and I'm also a operations manager at a charity based on Leeds as well. On top of that, I'm also a founder of a charity. At the Hamara Centre in Beeston, they're making up cultural food parcels for all the diverse communities across Leeds. There's been no sport in this hall since the pandemic started. Instead, they're seeing more families asking for help every week. It could be that their partner has been laid off jobs. They could be on zero-hour contracts previously as well, um, as cleaners, um, as security, security workers. So during the pandemic, their work has totally stopped. With all these things you do, Operations manager, head teacher, charity worker. I forgot the rest now. Cause yeah, it's, it's loads. How do you time manage? Again, it's something that I get asked a lot, and um, again, I'm going to throw a lot of a lot of cliche slogans mm. in that conversation today. But you know that the saying is, if you if you fail to plan, you you're planning to fail. On a Thursday. I'm writing out my weekly plan for the following week um, to ensure that I get what I need to get done achieved in that following week. One of the things that I've learned to do over the last couple of months is uh, wake up before everybody else. My alarm goes off around about four, quarter past four every single morning. Um, and, and that's to allow me to start my day correct. There's a bit of a, 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 a cliche slogan with the people that wake up two hours before everybody else, it equivalents to a month over a year. Tell us your current role and how you got into your current role. I met a head teacher of the school that I'm, I'm heading in now. Yeah. I told her what I do, what I've done in the past, my background as a young person, my passion in life as well. And the school that I work in is a very inner city school and the young people are very diverse. My passion of working with the BIM community out of Sean. And I got a call about two months later and she goes, Raheem, I'm leaving my post to go into Fulham Education. And I'm looking at when I graduate, I want to go abroad to teach. So my role, I've been for 10 years, is available. And I know you can apply for it and get the job. First thing I said is no. I said to her, I'm not ready for it. Mm. I've just graduated. And she would go, Raheem, you'll be fine. I know what you're capable of. You know, I, I know what you've done in the past. And I, I can show you that it works good. And I said to her, no, I'm not, I'm not ready for it. Um, she gave me two days. And she called up again, she sent me an email and she got Raheem, you need to apply for this role. You are the person for this role. And I thought to myself, clearly they see something that I don't see myself. Mm. And again, that was me self-doubting myself. So I applied for it, went for the interview, and I got it straight away. From that point, I realised again that you will only achieve what you want to achieve in life. And in terms of the qualities of being a head teacher, what, what? I think another probably the biggest quality is, is people skills. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to know how people operate. There's a book that I would recommend anybody to read, it's called How to Win Friends and Into What's People. Bill Carnegie. That book which tells you about how you speak to people, again, um, how you how you ask them to do certain things, mm -hmm. the way you do it. All these things are very important in regards to the leadership role. And these are things that I was not born with. Mm -hmm. You have to learn these things. Um, so I think people skills are is the number one, or maybe the only thing as well, because you're communicating with stakeholders, yeah. local authorities, mm -hmm. young people, mm -hmm. pupils, parents, staff members. A lot of people, everyone has different ways of communicating with them. Um, and it's key to know how you communicate with different people at different times. Again, with you having a bit of a leadership role as well, you have to understand that there's a difference between a manager and a leader. 
I don't see myself as a manager. As a leader, you are always providing support to the pack from behind and not from the front. So even though you put in most of the work, you know, you're providing your staff members with the tools to achieve their goals in life, you know, 